On this episode, we're gonna talk about the hottest new promotional items that really suck. And how we're gonna save the environment. Stay tuned. Welcome to Promos with the Pie Guys. I'm your co-host Patrick. And I'm Irving. And this is a show where we teach you how to grow your business using promotional products. Hey Patrick, have you ever watched that video with the sea turtle and they're pulling the straw out of its nose? Oh yeah, I actually did see that the other day and um, wow, it was it was tough to watch and I only got a few minutes in and I just I had to turn it off. It was just it was sad. Yeah, it's heart wrenching. It truly is. Yeah, and it uh, you know kind of made me reflect on the amount of waste you know and like plastics and things like that that I'm responsible for and. I mean, I can tell you, when I go out to a restaurant, I like to use a straw. Yeah. I don't want my lips touching that glass where someone else's lips have been, you know? Yeah. You know, talking about that, uh, we actually have some products here that are very eco-friendly. We got some paper straws, some silicone straws, and some stainless steel straws. You've probably seen all of the cities that have started putting bands on plastic straws. Yeah, like right. Miami, Seattle, Fort Myers, yeah, Washington, D.C. D.C., sure. Yeah, so those uh, they're kind of those cities are leading the charge in banning plastic. So I, I feel like a lot of other cities in the U.S. will actually start doing that. And I've actually seen some companies that are being proactive and banning that within their organizations. I mean, it's a great step forward, um, you know. Videos like that are gonna start making us all feel responsible for you know polluting our environment. Right, right. Um, That's it's... why I really like these paper straws. Um, now it is a single use item. Uh, however, the it decomposes in about a month as opposed to a hundred years. Wow. So we don't have to worry about it getting stuck in a turtle's nose. <laughs> these are completely customizable. Um, you can have different stripes. Your company name or event name can go all the way up. Um, they're really nice and sturdy. Now, what would be a con that you were worried about for the paper straw? Well, when I hear paper straw, I'm like worried, is it gonna decompose as I'm using it? You know, is it gonna start leaking and just kind of tear apart? Now, I thought of that too. I mean, it is paper and you're putting it in a liquid, but it actually, it holds up very well. Yeah, that is actually very rigid. It's a nice so. thick paper, great for festivals, outdoor events, especially corporate events, to where you have like a company picnic or something like that. Okay, very good. Our next one is gonna be the silicone straw that comes in both straight and bendy. Uh, what do you like about those? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I, I think that the silicone straw is probably have a good application for kids. Like yeah. Maybe um, milkshakes and, yeah. you know, not that milkshakes are only for kids, because I love a good milkshake. <laughs> but as an adult, I don't think I would care too much for a, a silicone straw, but I think I think kids would love it. Um, well, they're a lot more fun. You know, they come in a large assortment of colors, bright colors. You know, they're soft and flexible. Okay, so um, you can fold them up. And, yeah. Uh, easily carry them with you. And they're reusable. This is not a single use item. You know, you can right. bring it everywhere with you. Keep it in your, like, your diaper bag, or if you want to use it for yourself, um, you can just keep it in your purse or pocket in a nice pouch um, and just keep it clean. So do you usually carry one of these in your purse? I do. Yeah. Okay. My purse, my actually. Your, mur it's, your it's purse. A purse. Okay. It's a European side bag. Okay. Well, I think more adult or even more manly even might be these stainless steel straws. I don't know. Yeah, this is a great product too. Uh, it's actually laser etched. It That's comes nice. in about 10 colors. Uh, one being the blue and the iridescent. Yeah, I like that iridescent. Yes. Yeah. Nice. And then for a small extra fee, you got this rubber nipple, just in case you don't want your teeth getting on the stainless steel or, you know, altering the taste. Okay. And they actually also come with this awesome, you know, canvas bag that makes it really have that retail feel. Um, and these pipe cleaners to make sure that you get all the gunk out of there so you don't get sick. Right. Everybody needs their pipes cleaned every yeah. now and then. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So what are some good applications for the stainless steel straw? Where do you see that being used? 
uh, any restaurant or really anywhere, um, you want to show that you're progressive and you're trying to show that you're eco-friendly. Um, so this is great for businesses that want to help clean up our environment and you can have your name on there. Uh, and it, it really has that nice retail look. You can sell these for probably about 10 to $15 a piece. Wow. Uh, but this is gonna be super important when it comes to those states that are completely banning single-use items or just plastic straws in general. Right, and I, I did, we don't have an example here, but I did see a stainless steel straw that actually folds. Oh. Yeah, so not quite sure how that works with the mechanics of it, uh, so it doesn't leak, but I think it probably has a silicone inside or something, and then it just folds into segments and you can keep it in a small pouch or, or case. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Well, Irvin, uh, speaking of straws and sucking, <laughs> what's something that you just absolutely suck at doing? I know I'm tall and I'm 6'2", but I'm completely terrible at basketball. No kid. The yeah. worst. Uh, I never would have guessed that. Yeah, growing up, I was always a kid that just stood under the basket and just got the ball and just passed it to my teammates. I'm completely terrible. I guess I'm guilty of stereotyping you because yeah. you're tall, so I figure, hey, basketball. I'm primarily good. Dominican, so I'm really good at baseball. Okay. That's our sport. Yeah, good to know. How about you, Patrick? What do you suck at? Well, uh, narrowing down that long list, it's uh, one thing I can think of is if I do not make a task list to do, then I suck at managing my time. So I, I have to have that list so that I can check off each item and, and get things done in a, Big time. in a timely manner. I understand that, I'm the same way. Right. Be sure to tune in for our next episode as we talk about a really cool product that I think you're gonna love.